Now let us prepare a statement of comprehensive income for a merchandising business. We have here an example. The following are accounts for ABC Merchandising for December 31 of 2018. The following are the accounts ng ABC Merchandising. Okay? Now below we have here uh, a condition. Accordingly, 20% of rent, depreciation, and utility expense pertain to sales office while the rest pertains to a corporate office. So later on, we will solve this nang sa ganun, ma-separate natin yung uh, for the selling expense and for the administrative expense. Una natin gagawin, we have to solve for the net sales first. I-note natin siya as A. Para mas madali later on. Okay? So, we will start with sales. Ang sales natin dito is 5 million. And then, less tayo ng sales discount. Our sales discount is 10,000. Meron pa? Wala na. So, subtracting 10,000 from 5 million will give us 4,990,000. This is our net sales. Yun yung unang gagawin natin. Next. Let's solve for the net purchases. Note natin to as B. Okay, for net purchases, our net purchase is 3 million. Okay. Now, under net purchases, meron tayong freight in o di kaya meron din tayong uh, purchase discounts or purchase returns and allowances. But then, since wala naman nakalagay dito, our net purchase is already the, the 3 million. Next. Cost of sale, in-note natin siya as C. For, for compute up, uh, to compute for the cost of sale, we will start with the beginning inventory and then followed by the net purchase. Yung sum nilang dalawa would be the total goods available for sale less ending inventory. And that will be our cost of sale. Our beginning inventory is 100,000. Our net purchase is the 3 million. So we're going to add this. That would be 3,100,000. And then, less tayo ng ending inventory. The ending inventory is 200,000. So, 3,100,000 minus the 200,000 will give us a COS of Two million nine hundred thousand. So, meron na tayong net sales, net purchases, and cost of sale. Now, let us solve for the, let us prepare for the selling expense and the administrative expense. Now, dito kanina we have to take note of the twenty percent allotted for the office 
sales office. Yung natitirang 80% mapupunta raw sa corporate office. So, let us construct a table. So, we have rent, depreciation, and utility. Ang amount ng rent natin is 180,000. Ang depreciation expense natin is 120,000. Ang utility natin is 80,000. We will get the 20% of this. 20% yan mapupunta sa sales office. 20% of 180,000 is 36,000. 20% ng 120,000 is 24,000. 20% ng 80,000 is 16,000. So, yung natitirang 80%, yun yung pupunta sa corporate office. So, 80% ng 180,000 is 144,000. 80% ng 120,000 is 96,000. 80% ng 80,000 is 64,000. Okay? Let us prepare the selling expense. In note natin siya as letter D. So, what are those accounts under the selling expense? So, meron kang rent. 20% non is the 36,000. You have the depreciation, that is 24,000. The utility, 16,000. And then, wala na tayong account kasi dito na included pa under ng selling expense unless the problem stated na dapat nasa selling expense siya. Otherwise, ito na lang siya. So, if we're going to add 36,000, 24,000, and 16,000, that will give us 76,000 selling expense. Next. Administrative expense. Gawin natin siyang letter E. For the administrative expense, Rent is 144,000. Depreciation is 96,000. Utility is 64,000. Under administrative expense, we will include also the salaries expense the supply expense, and the insurance expense. Salaries expense can be under selling expense depending on the problem. But, since hindi naman siya in-indicate dyan, we can put it under administrative expense. Okay? So, selling expense is... I'm sorry. Salaries expense... is 100,000 supplies is 150 and insurance is 40,000 and then we are going to add all of these expenses and that will result to 594,000. Ito yung magiging administrative expense natin. Now take note all the ano, all the balances. This is for the net sale, we have 4,990,000. For the net purchases, we have 3 million. For the cost of sale, 2.9. For the selling expense, 76,000. 
and for the administrative expense, 594,000. Now, let us prepare the statement of comprehensive income for ABC merchandising. So, I prepared here a summary of all of those balances. So, you will start with the title, the title of the uh, comprehensive income, that is ABC Merchandising, Statement of Comprehensive Income, and then for the period ended, December 31, 2018. We will start with the net sale. The net sale is... Uh, Four hundred, a uh, four million nine hundred ninety nine thousand, minus the cost of sale, which is two point nine or two million nine hundred thousand. The result is the operating profit. From the operating profit, we will deduct the selling and the administrative expense. Selling expense is seventy six thousand, and the administrative expense is five hundred ninety four thousand. Deducting these two from the operating profit will give us a net profit of 1,420,000 net income. Okay? So that is how we prepare a statement of comprehensive income for a merchandising business.